Welcome to pitch side once again. Now it's the home side playing two back-to-back -back games. Yesterday was an absolute thriller against Karachi Kings. I'm sure everybody really enjoyed it. Peshawar Zalmi won their last game in Multan. So they'll have some kind of confidence going into this one. But all in all, it's an extremely important game for Lahore Kalandas. And the bad news for them is that Haris Rauf is out. He's out for what? four to six weeks because he's dislocated his shoulder. So that's a huge blow for them because just when it looked like he's picking up rhythm, uh, he's gone out. Now to talk us through, I've got Marina Iqbal and Dominic Koch. Marina, huge blow losing uh, Haris Rauf for Lahore Kalandas? Well, definitely, no doubt about it. I think uh, apart from that, he had a good last game. He was struggling apart from that. But I think overall, when you look at Lahore's bowling, they were struggling all together. But that was the, probably the best figures he had. He bowled four overs, gave away 22 runs and this was the injury. It's going to be, it, it's going to be a big blow for Lahore because he was impeccable in line and length and the, we talk about having an effect, an impact in terms of bowling. I think he was getting that momentum. He was getting Lahore back on track probably for everyone. He gave the blueprint as it to where they should be bowling and uh, I think now they have a huge gap to fill. Yeah, what about his bowling Marina? I mean, just yesterday we were talking about the fact that, you know, he needs to pick his rhythm somehow, get into the mix of things, get back to being his uh, usual best and we saw glimpses of that yesterday. Yeah, I think he, early on he was trying too hard, uh, just focusing on pace and he wanted to prove himself but when you look at this pitch map, you can understand the clarity. He knew exactly where he was pitching the ball, hard length and that's exactly where he's, he's the most lethal baller when coming up and the best thing for Shaheen, I think he actually gave him a lot of cushion. He bowled after uh, the power play and that gave him a lot of confidence and he came up and he had the clarity. He wasn't thinking about any runs. He knew exactly where to come and pitch and hit that length and that's why within the stumps there was no problem for you him. can just tell he was screaming in pain just from the visuals that we saw Koki that it never looked good uh, and like Marina said it was an excellent spell one we've been waiting for because it was the length the line he was up against Pollard he's up against Shoei Malik and then when he goes down I know you mentioned it's four to six weeks I just hope touch wood that it is four to six weeks because it's his bowling arm I hope it does settle down because it's obviously imperative for him, imperative for the Klanders, and I think also imperative for Pakistan cricket that this man comes back stronger uh, and obviously a lot fitter and be able to produce like he did last night. Yeah, it's just one of those things when you talk about um, Haris Rauf, Lahore Klanders, uh, the Pakistan side will be looking to get him back for the T20 World Cup. Whether he'll be fit is the real question. Injury concerns for Lahore Kalandas. Remember, the toss has already happened. And just a quick reminder on what happened. Kalandas won the toss and they decided to bowl fast. They've got an opportunity yet again to reverse their fortunes. They are up against Babar Azam's side, who's been trying to get into some kind of form in this uh, tournament. So... A lot of questions for Lahore Kalandas, but Peshawar Zelmi will be batting first with Saim Ayub opening at the top with Barbaras. Well, that's a good opening pair. I think Saim, obviously, he clicked here on this surface, had a little bit of trouble playing in Multan, but he knows that he has an important role to play. Babar, I mean, again, taking all the responsibility, people need to step in, especially Powell. He did chip in, but when you look at the lineup, there are more capable batters who need to step up and be more supportive. In, in terms of having uh, Babar out there in the middle and giving some support uh, to post a good total. A couple of things, obviously, I know we're going to go on to the other team now, unchanged, and also Babar Azam wanted to bat first, so that, that's important for their team. For this team, obviously, two force changes because of two injuries. We've seen, obviously, one injury that was a hope for Harris Ralph is OK. Um, obviously, then comes in Mohamed Khan Jr. for his... Uh, debut, he's already played for the Zelmi, so he's playing against the Zelmi for the Kalanders. And George Linde, who has got a hand injury, you remember the ball was hit really hard down to him. I think it was Pollard, hit right the way down the ground. He gets one, he gets one on the hand and actually goes off straight away. So he's out as well, and in comes Carlos Brathwaite, who obviously is a, a very fine uh, replacement, but not good news that they've got two injuries on the back of needing a desperate win. You know, they keep saying, when do they need to win tonight? Kalanders don't win tonight. I'm not saying they're out, because mathematically they're not out. But they've got to start winning. Tonight is the night. They've got some positives, though. When yep. you look at that lineup, bowling lineup, they've missed out on Harris Rowe. 
but nobody beats Zaman Khan in the kind of skill he brings to the table, Marina. I mean, he's he's all sorted, and whenever, as a batter, I'm speaking, whenever you're up with Zaman Khan, you cannot guess what he's doing because he has a lot of skills under his sleeve, and you might be thinking it's the, it was a short one coming in, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he nails that yorker, and it's very hard having that slingy action, and it tails away and then gets back in. So it, he doesn't give you a lot of time bowling with that pace. So I think he's a brilliant utility as a captain to have. As Aman Khan, you can give him the new ball, you can use him in the middle overs and death bowling. It's very hard to put him oh, away. We've got somebody in our, in our commentary box who bowled yorkers at will in Wakai Yunus, <laughs> and another man called, uh, obviously, Wazim Akram as well, who, who used to bowl it. He's now getting a trademark, Zaman Khan, of bowling Yorkers, but also that slower Yorker as well. So that, that's going to be great to see tonight. The other thing I want to pick up on is the two captains, head-to-head. -head. A lot of talk about, obviously, Shine Shah Freedy and whether he can get his pace back or whether he's up there. You see him constantly working. He's working on his bowling action all the time. Um, and you see him doing that, and we hope that he can get back to something that we've seen for a long period in his career up against somebody, Babar Azam, who knows how to put innings together. Let's face it, he makes it look simple. He increased his strike rate last year, didn't he? After a little bit of criticism, and I think it was quite right. And I think what you're seeing now is a Babar Azam who can take games away from you. So I'm looking forward to this matchup. That's definitely a matchup that we're all look, looking forward to, Marina. I mean, in terms of the score then, I mean, what are we looking at uh, from Peshawar Zalmi? Because remember, yesterday was a close one. We've seen some high-scoring games. Uh, what's a comfortable score for Zalmi? Well, now the surfaces are being reused, so you have to adjust accordingly. And I think anything around 160 to 170 would be enough on this surface because it gets lower and lower in the second innings. Rovman Powell, you know, another guy in yep. that Zalmi side. They yep. need to watch out for him. We saw what Kyron Paula did yesterday, Koki. Yep. The, these, um, you know, West Indians, we know that they've got a lot of power. Well, he got 23 from 11 deliveries in that win against the Multan Sultan. So he can take games away from you. That's what you want. That's what you want from overseas players is to come in and actually take the game away from the, operator, uh, from the opposition. That's what this man can do. We've seen it last night with Kyron Pollard. Just hope this goes all the way like it did last night. We've seen some great games so far. Let's go to a last ball classic. All right. Thank you so much for your thoughts, Marina and Corky. We've got a brilliant game on our hands today. It's Kalandas versus Peshawar Zalmi. Kalandas have a chance to change their fortunes altogether and really redeem themselves. A couple of changes, an injury blow, a lot of masala as always in the HPL PSL. We'll see you guys on the other side.